I now give the floor to the representative of the International Federation for Family Development. Madam Chair, my name is Alex Vasquez from the International Federation for Family Development. Since 2018, a group of transnational and regional organizations has been fully involved with the preparations of the 30th anniversary of the International Year of the Family. In order to make every effort count, we have been working on a civil society declaration. That declaration tries to integrate family needs into the various megatrends proposed by the Secretary General, be an effective instrument to foster partnerships and share substantial contributions from experts on family policies. The civil society organizations that have signed the declaration so far declare their resolution to contribute and work together with the UN system, member states, and other stakeholders and recommend on new technologies, address the intergenerational digital gap among all family members in order to design and implement policies and programs to strengthen solidarity, recognize independence, ensure equal education access, build mentorship schemes among generations, and promote positive interactions and intra-family relations. Also, promote the use of new technologies in flexible work arrangements, such as teleworking through the provision of public and private services, infrastructure and social protection policies to enable families to fulfill their care responsibilities. Ensure accessible technology to all family members, considering it as an investment to develop educational programs, new services, jobs, and force of cooperation in an effort to achieve equity and reduce the digital divide, work towards an universal access to proper underlying infrastructure, devices, skills, and protection from abuse and harmful practices. And last, encourage and assist open communication between parents and children, fostering resilience and good use of technology, including awareness about online risks. On climate change, Develop strategies to face the impact of climate change on families by assessing challenges regarding food security, housing, energy, and health through family strengthening, family networks, and parenting programs. Support a better understanding of the active role of families regarding cir circular economy and promote adequate legislation and education for it. Emphasize the role of the younger generations addressing causes and consequences on climate change. Involve the private sector through their efforts in environmental, social, and governance strategies. Thank you, Madam Chair.